The protein angiopotent like 3 inhibits lipoprotein lipase, an enzyme that degrades lipoproteins. Two new studies demonstrate that this protein is an experimental target for therapy to reduce lipid levels and cardiovascular disease risk. In the first study, investigators analyzed the gene that encodes angiopotent like 3 in over 180,000 participants from five cohorts. They found that participants who carried a loss of function variant of the gene had significantly lower serum levels of triglycerides, HDL cholesterol, and LDL cholesterol, and a lower prevalence of coronary artery disease than did those who did not carry such a variant. A monoclonal antibody called evanacumab, which inhibits both mouse and human angiopotent like 3, was used to treat mice with dyslipidemia. Investigators found significantly lower average total cholesterol and triglyceride levels, as well as a greater decrease in atherosclerotic lesion size in mice treated with evanacumab than in mice treated with a control antibody. Healthy humans with mildly to moderately elevated triglyceride or LDL cholesterol levels were also treated with evanacumab. There was a significant dose-dependent reduction in fasting triglyceride and LDL levels in those treated with the monoclonal antibody. In the second study, investigators reduced levels of angiopotent like 3 by targeting its messenger RNA with an antisense oligonucleotide. Mice treated with the antisense therapy had dose-dependent reductions in triglyceride levels, LDL cholesterol, liver triglyceride content, and atherosclerotic progression. Humans treated with the antisense oligonucleotide had significant reductions in triglycerides, LDL cholesterol, and VLDL cholesterol. Together, these studies show that antagonizing angiopotent like 3 in humans and in mice leads to decreased levels of triglycerides, LDL cholesterol, and HDL cholesterol presumably by disinhibiting lipoprotein lipase. Further studies will be needed to determine the effect of this strategy on clinical cardiovascular outcomes. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.